Hi everybody, I am Dr. Astosh Kumar, Clinical Director, Cardiac Elective Physiology at Care Hospital, Hyderabad. Uh, today I am going to discuss about uh, one of the conditions called heart failure and devices. A lot of time people ask whether my heart is weak and whether we should go for the any device or I, we should go for the transplant or there is anything we can do by other than medicines. So just I want to say there are some devices has come which increases the heart pumping. We call it a CRT, Cardiac Resynchronization Therapy. And these are the devices which uh, if you see from this uh, ordinary pacemaker, it is uh, look wise it will be same, somewhat bulkier because they are having some additional function and if you are, if you are going to implant the procedure remains same. Uh, means we are going to implant two wires on the right side of the heart, upper and lower chamber and third wire is a very technically demanding procedure in which we have to through the one of the vein we are going to implant on the left side. And by the left side, we are going to resynchronize the electrical activity, which is uh, abnormal in some of the weak heart. We call it a heart failure, means heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, means the pumping has weak, means the ejection fraction is less than 35 or 40 percent. So, in those situations, we are putting the additional wire and we are resynchronizing electrical activity to improve the pumping function of the heart. And sometimes the valve leak means mitral regurgitation which is due to the weak heart, it get corrected and the patient feel far better after implantation of device. So these are the uh, devices which we implant for selected patient, not for all heart failure patient. So heart failure with rhythm disorder, we can say left bundle branch block or uh, advanced conduction system problem is there. In that situation, we implant this device and we correct the electrical underpinning of this condition. So if the electrical problem is there, heart failure is there, certainly this device is going to give benefit and at the same time it is going to give some uh, benefit in giving the medicines which we can, uh, the spectrum of the medicines also improves, means a lot of medicines which we can't give without pacemaker or CRT can't be. Coming to the longevity, yes, these devices you work from uh, 6 year to 12 years depending upon the type of uh, CRT device we are implanting. It is a CRT D means with defibrillator or CRT P means pacemaker function only. So long longevity will be different but at least 6 to 10 years most of the time it works. And the life means life after putting the device, yes, uh, procedure wise it takes 2 to 3 hours depending upon the type of anatomy of the patient one or two day hospital stay and it is under the local anesthesia we are going to just uh, do a small incision below the collar bone and we implant this device three leads inside the heart and by that we are resynchronizing the electrical circuit and from outside we can integrate the device functioning and uh, over the time we will be knowing how the heart is functioning. So coming to the do and don'ts you can do most of the things what you are enjoying earlier only things uh, thing wherever the high magnetic wire or uh, where the high tension wire is there that has to be avoided and metal detector wherever you are going just show your card that you are having device they will check in a different way so with this word we can say yes pacemakers are one of the treatment of heart failure in the selected patient where you are having pumping weak means heart ejection fraction is low and on top you are having electrical problem what we call the left bundle branch block is there in that situation it gives a lot of benefit to the patient. So selected patient should uh, reach to their doctor discuss regarding this one and if they are feasible they should undergo also. Thank you. See you next time.